Hello, we are looking at ALD issue 7, text 2, which is a speech. And I googled and googled and googled, and I could not find the audio for this speech so that you could hear Lee Hamilton speak with his own voice. I found pictures of him and information about him. He is not just Lee H. Hamilton. He is the Honorable Lee H. Hamilton. He's a, a judge, and he's won many awards in his life. Um, the speech itself is several places online, but I couldn't find the audio, so you're stuck with me. Sorry. What does it mean to be an American citizen? And we will be doing this as a close read. So I will be leaving blanks, and you will be filling them in. What does it mean to be an American citizen? By Lee H. Hamilton. We are here today because the success of any democracy is determined by the participation of its citizens. Let's read it again. Together. We are here today because the success of any democracy is determined by the participation of its citizens. Lincoln asked whether a nation devoted to the values of liberty, equality, justice, and opportunity, quote, so conceived, can long, can long endure. In other words, he said, can such a country last? Can it endure? In these words, he told us a truth about our he told us a truth about our democracy, that its survival is never guaranteed, and that its success demands wisdom, action, and even what's that word? Vigilance. A careful watch. Vigilance. And even vigilance from American citizens. Thus, I focus my remarks today on the basic question. What does it mean to be an American citizen? We're going to pause here, and I'd like you to practice reading the first two paragraphs as if you were giving the speech. Practice with a partner, please. Section 1. What do we owe? First, what do we as American citizens owe? So, what do we as American citizens owe? We begin with gratitude. As many have said, the joy of being an American is the joy of freedom and opportunity. We have been bequeathed freedom. Uh, bequeathed means given. Read it with me. We have been bequeathed freedom, justice, and opportunity from the deeds and commitments, even the spilled blood of Americans who came before us. We did not earn the inheritance. We did not earn the inheritance. This nation of unequaled wealth and power, of freedom and opportunity, was given to us. But no matter how rich and powerful it becomes, America is not and never will be a finished project. It is always a borning. You know the word born, so it's always being born. It's always growing. It is always a borning. That looks like an SAT word. You and I are handed a work in progress, one that can, one that can evolve for good or for ill. Now, ill means sick, but in this sentence, good or not good, right? 
can evolve for good or for bad, for evil. American democracy. American democracy makes a wager, a bet, on its citizens. The deal is, the deal is simple. With freedom comes, say it again, with freedom comes obligation. With liberty comes, with liberty comes duty. If that deal is not kept, democracy is threatened. Lincoln said at Gettysburg, it is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. He spoke of a new birth, of a birth of freedom, so that government of, by, and for the people would not Perish means die, would not die. So read that sentence with me. He spoke of a new birth of freedom, so that government of, by, and for the people would not perish. You and I must learn and we must teach our young the words we live by, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the other grand documents of American history. And we must learn and teach about the teach about the institutions that bring life and permanence, things lasting over time, permanence, to these words and deeds so familiar to us, so that they may fulfill Lincoln's charge. Democracy is not Democracy is not fixed like a monarchy. Fixed means it doesn't change. It stays the same. So democracy is not staying the same like a monarchy. It is dynamic. It changes. Democracy reflects the will and above all the action of each generation of American citizens. So what do we owe as Americans, we owe a profound debt of gratitude for the actions of those who preceded us. And we owe those who will follow an America that is even greater and more beautiful than it was transmitted to us.